Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another installment of the Viral Podcast. I'm your host, Paige Jen. And I'm your host, Chelsea Lynn, 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 Lynn. And um, listen, we have a really exciting, I know I always say that, but today is actually really exciting because it's, pa- it's Paige's birthday. Oh, thank you, guys. Thank you. Well, it's not today, but it's your birthday week. Mm-hmm. It's your birthday podcast. Your birthday's in a few days. Yeah, my birthday's September 15th. Yeah. And you will be 29. Your last year of your 20s. This is a big one. Yeah. And I'm starting to find what, Brett? Oh, no. I was just noticing your hat was going to fall I'll off. Move. Oh, move. No, <laughs> yeah. it's tied to my headset, so it won't fall off. If you're listening, we all, we have uh, birthday hats on and stuff. It's We have it decorated here in the podcast studio. But go ahead. Yeah. Um, just 29 is such a big year because you kind of, you've learned so much to this point and you're just going to keep learning, but I don't know. You kind of feel like you kind of know who you are. Yeah. But I probably still don't at all. 30 is when it, 30 is when it all started. I don't know. I love turning 30. I love being in my thirties. It's like Mm -hmm. a fresh start. It's weird to explain. And you, you always hear people say that, but I never knew what it meant. But 30s was like when like life started for me, I feel like in a weird way. It's hard to explain. Yeah. I don't know. It, it's like it got more fun. It got, I don't know. It's, yeah, you're going to love it. Well, you're not Ooh. 30 yet. Yeah. Still got to get through that 29, but. Got to get through 29. And uh, we have to start planning your 30th. And you want to go. I was thinking Greece, but I don't know. Like, what's the most beautiful, breathtaking place that. That's what I want to see. Just something my eyes and brain will never forget. Lots of places. Hot springs, maybe. Like from when, Arkansas. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> That's what Brett can afford. <laughs> yeah. Brett, we can go there on a Tuesday, my man. We're talking yeah, about a big trip. Planning, it's tough. You know? Hot springs are... I actually do love yeah. hot springs, Arkansas, though. Yeah. I actually do love it. But we're talking like we got to go on a, on a trip. I hear Arkansas, though. You know, that's like where the Mountain Valley spring water. Yeah. And whatnot. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But we can go... We can go there on <laughs> literally any time and vlog, you know. Yeah, we can do that. That's true. We're close, kind of. But we do got to take a big trip for your thirtieth. We've been talking about this for a couple years. You guys, let us know where we should go. Yes, something that we look out upon and we're like, "Holy crap!" <sighs> I think Ireland would be would be amazing. Yeah. Oh my gosh! Yes, mm-hmm. Ireland, all those castles and those cliffs and the lads. <sighs> I I would say more for me viewing stuff. I don't. You want beach? No, oh. not even beach. Just like something that's just like either cle- it could be clear water. It doesn't even have to be a lake, but like or an ocean, but just something that's breathtaking. Okay. It could even be grass, like a huge ass field of grass, like in China. Let's go to Nebraska, Amsterdam. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, that'd be. Ooh, that would. I actually do want to go there. Yeah. I want to go everywhere. I want to go everywhere. Exploring buildings isn't all that. I mean, it's you, cool. You're not a big castle. You wouldn't like to go see some old castles. She doesn't like a castle. I would. Maybe some Tartarianism. Okay. Mm. Okay. Well, you got you got time to think. You got about six months to think about it because we got we got to get something booked. <laughs> we do. <laughs> Damn. Um, we got a little something for you. Oh no. So go ahead and talk amongst yourselves. Okay. So, um, what are your guys' birthday plans for the next year? I think we were gonna for my birthday we were gonna uh maybe go to San Francisco. San Francisco, that's what you want to do. I yeah. was thinking like a roller skating rink, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Right. That we would do, be fun. we do that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's his favorite thing to do. <laughs> roller skating rink. Happy, Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Paige. Happy birthday to you. Woo! Thank you. 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 Thank you.
thank you guys. Thanks, Malt Leakies. You're Damn, welcome, Malt Leakies. really cute. Didn't get you a cake, but we put candles in a um, cosmic brownie for you. That's fine. This works. This is a awesome. A and this, Beth went and got all this stuff. And it's got all your favorite snacks in there. Oh my. And uh, thank you guys so much. Damn, that cosmic brownie looks good. I know. I was just thinking I'd like a piece of it. Okay, here you go. You can take the two. <laughs> you can you. take the nine. Thank you. Okay. Thank Split you it guys down the middle, for these. 50, 50. How are we going to get this over there? I'm I'll get into Just my, throw uh, it. Just throw it. Ready? Okay, throw it. You got it? Throw it. Woohoo! Yes. Oh, wow. <laughs> Ooh, malt licky and that sticky baby. I'm excited about that. Mmm. Paige, there, got more snacks here. There is one more gift for you, and it kind of ties along with that little basket of junk food. Look behind Justin Beavers. Oh, boy. Beth loves to hide things. Beth is great. I love it. Look behind Justin's Bieber. Justin Bieber. Careful with it. Oh my She's got a photo of Justin Bieber behind her. Beth put something oh. back there. Is wow. this real? Oh. Okay. Show the front of it. Oh. I bought weed. I brought weed. Oh. There's an R in there. <laughs> Dude. The funny thing is, I kept smelling weed. <laughs> I kept smelling weed thinking, damn, where it at though? Is it, it in was there? behind me the whole time. Oh Happy my. birthday. Thank you. This is the best gift. Oh, wow. The nuggets. Yeah, open it up, though. The chicken nuggets. Can we show this on YouTube? We can do anything. Well, we got some green um, grass shards. Parsley. Mm -hmm. Parsley. Dried parsley. She got me some alien glow things that you can stick up on your ceiling. Like Those stars. are cute. These are fucking awesome. We should put these in here. I know. Up top. Those oh. are cute. This is a thoughtful, cool gift. Thanks. Look at this corn. It's a freaking... A corn She pipe. got me a corn pipe. Mm -hmm. Corn on the cob pipe. Creamy. Rolling paper. Creamy. And a lighter. Thank you so much. Man, that wow. parsley is strong. <laughs> Holy I know. shit. I kept thinking, damn, where's that parsley at? <laughs> Love parsley. Thank you so much, guys. You're the best friends um, I've ever... Well, we love you. Love and you. happy birthday. Thank you know, you. this is a big deal. Last year of your 20s. I know. What should I do Dude, in it my feel 29s? <sighs> it feels like it was yesterday for me. I just turned 36. And Paige, yeah, before. 40. Stop. Paige, before you know it, you're going to be 36. Yeah. Before I know it, I'm going to be 60, dude. Gosh. Do you have any birthday stories, birthday memories? What did you guys do when you were a kid? Usually just brought friends over, you know, all my mom would always make a cake, yeah. just some sort of Barbie cake or whatever I liked at the time. Yeah, pretty much just friends and gifts, the regular old birthday party. I will say one birthday that is rememberable to me is when um, me and Brett were boning on my 25th birthday in the mm -hmm. bathroom and my mm -hmm. other friends. Yeah, tried to come in and sw yeah. do a swap. That was a memorable birthday, but other than that, normal. Well, it didn't happen on your 25th, but what about your 29th? Might get a little malt swappy. I don't know. Might get a little malt swappy. If y'all are boning in the bathroom and you hear me and Greg knocking, what would you do? <laughs> Holy <laughs> what shit. What would you do? Um, <laughs> would you fuck Greg? <laughs> Fuck, dude. I not today. Not 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 today. Not Best today. laughing. Give it time. <laughs> Let me sit on that one for a second, okay? Dude, that would actually be fucking funny. Imagine Brett fucking you. No. Oh god. Could be pleasurable. You never know. It could be. <laughs> it is, but yeah. I don't think my mind would let me enjoy it. No. I'll just blindfold you. Yeah. I'll just okay. blindfold you. <laughs> okay. Oh, he. Oh, uh, never mind. Can't even forget. Oh gosh. <laughs> oh, I did have a little story though. Should Let's I hear that now? Honey's yes, absolutely. Okay. That's what we're here to do. Oh, uh, to talk. Okay. Well, uh, Jerry, my brother Jerry, and our good friend Jacob. Mm -hmm. I kind of tried to write it down so, as what they said, you know. Um, they went to a bar in Salt Lake City, and the bar was pretty packed. So everyone's in there, just you know packed in like yeah. a little turd and there's a couple that's sitting right in front of jerry and jacob and 
they're in there for a while and then the girl keeps turning around and looking at Jacob and he's just like what the hell and then finally <laughs> what finally she goes stop farting to <gasps> Jacob to Jacob and he goes what the hell like they're just in a bar you know it's the opac party he goes what the hell i'm not farting and like she turns back around and she turns around again and she's like stop farting and he goes i'm not <laughs> and so a little while goes by and jerry's just like jacob are you farting and he goes no dude so the girl <laughs> so the girl turns around again and says stop farting and so jerry is getting pissed by this point and he and he tells the girl if you te- if you accuse my friend of farting <laughs> stop 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 jerry says jerry says if you accuse my friend of farting one more time I'm going to fart in your mouth. He told the girl that, and the and the boyfriend caught ear of it, oh! and and told Jerry, like got all puff chest to Jerry and said, "You're gonna punch my girlfriend in the fucking mouth." And Jerry said, "No, I said I was gonna fart in her mouth if she accused my friend. If she, ac- if she accused my friend of farting one more time, and then um, it escalated." you know um more and i don't know how security got brought in but long story short jerry and jacob got kicked out of the bar for no reason yeah and over a a A farting accusation hey he's not farting don't you say he's farting again i'll fart in your fucking mouth (laughs) i I was like jerry whoa and he's like just the girl was so mean, like, and aggressive that... She was smelling a fart and thought it was coming from him. But the fact that Jerry stood up for our friend and said, if you accuse... And Jerry was so serious telling the story that I that I was fucking <laughs> losing it. I would not be able to take it serious. No. And he was dead. Oh, my god. He was dead serious. Like, Jerry was even, like, mad while telling it. I'm like, damn. Oh, my gosh. Oh, and then, um, I forgot. I've had this thing in my hand for a couple months but i won this at my family reunion and it's a metal back scratcher i was thinking you could use it for your hoo-ha i could absolutely (laughs) since thank you you're welcome since i have talked in the pod about how i use for uh, you know use a fork to scratch my areas i have bought a couple of these Mm. um but i'll take one you know I have one for the car, one for, one for every room, yeah. one for every room, you know, so I don't have to get up and go, go get it. And <laughs> if I have a, for it, yeah. Yes, but thank you for this. Yeah, there's an extender on it. Oh, gosh, I got to oh, have that wow. extender. Mm-hmm. Look, got to have that extender. Because we were talking about the metal forks weeks ago, and then I freaking won this metal scratcher. Perfect. Oh, I love scratching things. I love having things to scratch with. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's just The better. metal ones are the, the best. Yes. Thank you for this. You're welcome. Well, it's your birthday, and you're giving me gifts. Oh, it's okay. Thank you. Oh, yeah. I appreciate that. It all comes around. So. Oh, my gosh. Well, um, I know your favorite segment is. Get trivy. Get trivy. Get trivy. Get trivy. Oh, fuck me. Get trivy. Get trivy. Get trivy. I I know that we uh, had to do your favorite segment on your birthday episode. Oh so, yeah. So well, let me grab the uh, trivia wheel. <sighs> it's a big wheel. Big wheels keep on turning. Big wheels keep on turning. What's the next uh, words of that? Proud Americans. Uh, proud Mary keep on boining. Boining. Rolling. You gotta boinin'. say boining. You gotta say boining. You can't say burning. Uh uh-uh. uh. Boining. 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 Yeah. What's that noise? Brett, were you doing something? Oh, I was looking up the lyrics to Rolling on a River. Oh, what Mark. is it? I'm looking for the big wheels part. Okay. Uh, proud Mary, keep on burning. Uh, say it right. Pr- proud, proud Mary. Proud Mary, keep on burning. No. Boing in. Right. Say boing in. Oh, I thought you wanted boing in. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Proud Mary, keep on boing in. Boing in. Boing in. Boing in. Boing in. <laughs> proud Mary, keep on boing in. Woo! Rolling. All right. <clears throat> you go first. It's your birthday. Okay, Malt Spinny. <laughs> Previously asked questions, Green. Previously asked questions. 
Great. Question number one of trivial. Um, when was the Declaration of Independence signed? Eight. Oh, we're That's just the month. July. <gasps> um, Is that right? No. Oh. I'm going to say it was September. August. August. August yeah. Fuck, dude. I was going to say August mm. first. Mother. Oh. Grab your thing. Hmm. <laughs> We forget every time. And Brett, I can't see if it's right or wrong. So, oh, yeah. so let her know. Sorry. Got let my buzz. Yeah. All right. August 2nd, 1776. I was thinking 1887. I was thinking something. Too. Mm. Okay. Everybody sure. ready? Yeah. Malt Spinny, baby. The stars red. The stars red. The stars red. Question number two. Paige, get your hand on your buzzer. Yeah. Sorry, I'm adjusting my pad. I'm bleeding. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. In the 2015 movie The Martian, who is the lead actor that gets uh, stranded on Mars? Matt Damon. Yes. Matt Damon. And I've never even seen that movie. I just somehow knew it was Matt Damon. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I've seen it. He's a botanist. I've only heard of the Marsha. <coughs> Is that like a spinoff the of Mar- Star Wars? The Marsha Brady. Huh? <laughs> it's actually a good movie. You said Marsha instead of Martian. Oh. <laughs> that's, I don't know it. Okay, you ready? Martian. I think I have seen it now that we say that. Mm-hmm. When you said botanist, I, I thought, I think I've seen that. Yeah, he like grows uh, yes. something. P- potatoes. Something. Oh, okay. That's, okay, I have seen that. All right, well. Okay, good for me. All right. Malt Speedy, baby. Here I go. Urban Dictionary. <coughs> Here we go. Yellow. Urban Dictionary number three, question of trivial. Define the word shexting. Hmm? S-H-E-X-T-I-N-G. Shexting? Hmm? Shexting. I'm shexting right now. Uh, you're sexting, no. but you have a lisp. <laughs> sexting? What um, is it? I don't know. Well, you're texting. Are they supposed to like? Uh, here. I'll what are you doing while you're texting? Shitting. Shaking. Shitting. Taking a shit. Okay. Yeah. If you just use your brain, you can really figure that one out. That yeah. was good. It was the e that yeah. kind of threw you off. The sh. Yeah. Okay. Mm, okay. Okay. All right. I was actually thinking it was maybe a real word. Yeah. Hmm. Here we go. <laughs> animals purple, animals purple. purple. Animals purple. True or false? Shark liver is commonly used to make lipstick and hair conditioners. True. Squaw. Squaw. Okay. Squalene. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Squalene, I've tried that. Oh, look at my spin. What does it mean, orange? What does it mean, orange? I believe this is the fifth question. Yes. Good job, Brad. Okay. <laughs> 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 well, this is funny. <laughs> okay. What does it mean to gaslight someone? <laughs> oh, gosh, it means to freaking make them feel like they're fucking crazy. Uh, it's a form of psychological manipulation in which the abuser attempts to oh, we're aware. Uh, lower self-doubt and confusion in their victim's mind. It's very malicious. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've heard. Yeah. <laughs> Good job, everybody. Yeah. Okay. Dude, okay, my turn. Ready? We're just going to keep doing some trivia until we yeah. kind of run out because we usually do just a couple questions a piece, but it's your favorite, so we're just going to do it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Sound good? Yeah, I love spinning, and and this is fun. The stars red, the stars. Red. Stars are red. Question number six. Which planet is the smallest in our solar? Pluto. <laughs> Fucking Earth. <laughs> Mercury. Mm. Oh, we've already had this question. Yeah. And I, I think so. Yeah. I got it right the first time and not this time. <laughs> Damn. Okay. All right. Your turn. <coughs> Here we go. Damn. Damn. They could just re answer all the questions. Wikipedia blue. Blue. Wikipedia blue. Hmm. This is a, a lot of words. Okay. <laughs> go ahead. Melissa Vivian Jefferson, known professionally as blank. 
-hmm. born in Detroit, Michigan. She moved to Houston, Texas with her family when she was 10 years old. After college, she moved to Minneapolis, Minnesota, where she began her recording career in hip hop music. Who is she? Is it Lizzo? Yeah. Well, how how? I, dude, I was going to say Whoopi Goldberg or whatever. Hmm. I was thinking who's from who's from Houston. I was thinking who, what artists are from Houston. You automatically think Beyonce, but then Beyonce didn't move to Minneapolis, but then Lizzo had that song, Minnesota Viking. Mm -hmm. So I just put two and two together and made a guess. You nice did guess. Thank you. Lizzo. All right. Woohoo. My turn? Mm hmm. Okay. Here we go. Art yellow. Art yellow. What is Pablo Picasso's style of artwork known as? I don't know styles of art. Molly. <laughs> I I don't know styles of art. Um I feel like just with everything's a, art, that's why. Actually starts with an A style. Abstract. <sighs> nice. Abstract. Nice. I can't even really think. I couldn't piece out a Picasso painting from others, really. That's funny because I could. Yeah. And I don't know how. But I would know a Picasso. I feel like all his stuff looks the same. Yes, it's very I similar. I think I would know it. Yeah. I never really look at it. I guess maybe you guys just because everyone died? talks about him that I just don't. So you just look at it, but I you're just, not really looking at it. No, I don't think I've ever like Googled Picasso mm. paintings or anything like that. What'd you say, Brett? You know when he died? 70, 78? Yeah, I didn't know he was like so... Uh, 78? 73. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Michael well, you think Picasso old. was like, yeah. oh, back in like the... Mm -hmm. It's 18... No, he like... Yeah. Wasn't he like hanging out with all the other famous artists and stuff that they say? Hmm. Like there's a big old story about him we had to read in high school. I don't but, know. And I still don't know shit about mm -mm. him. Don't know nothing. Yeah. God bless him. Yeah, here we go. Malt Spinny, baby. Malt Spinny. I think you've had every question right. Wikipedia, blue. Uh, we don't have another one of those. That's okay, spin um, another one. again. Sports red. Sports red. Beth didn't expect us to go so long on this, so we may have to skip some. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> this is a tough one. What is the diameter of a basketball hoop in inches? 18. How, how the hell do you know that? What the <laughs> fuck? Suck my cock! How did you fucking know 18 inches? I know things. Mm. As a bonus, how many centimeters? I'm smart. Yeah. Not that smart. <laughs> Just guess. Damn, you might get it. Just guess. How many inches in centimeters? How many centimeters are 18 inches? Yeah. Oh, God. Now we're getting into territory mm. I know nothing about. Um... There's a cool prize in it. If you well, how many centimeters are in an inch? Right. 12? No. 18? No. 16, I think. 24? Yeah. You're asking the wrong gal. Yeah. Okay, how many centimeters are in an inch? Oh, God, that I don't know. Beth, Six. how many? Just tell us that. 16. How many centimeters are in an inch? I like, love that we all have computers in front of us. We're like, <laughs> how, how many two centimeters? And a half. Two and two. a half centimeters equals oh. one inch. Whoops, I see. So it, that'd be 18 Divided by two and a half or times two and a half? Beth, mm. which one? <laughs> divided? Is that right? Two I and think a times. Half. Two and a half. Dude, we are. I thought I was smart until Beth starts getting in the. No more bonuses! I thought those little lines, <laughs> you know, in a ruler, those little, mm -hmm. little lines, aren't those centimeters? Yeah. Seven. So what's up with that two and a half? Seven. Per inch. Is that right, Beth? So per it's y'all. Can I just tell you the answer? Yeah, because the math doesn't equal up. Yeah, way because it's like two and at two point five six centimeters equals an inch. The answer is forty five point seven centimeters. Okay, can I still get the bonus? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I will let Where's you have the, the hidden bonus. prize, Beth? Uh, that is a good question. It's Chelsea, under her desk. Turn around. Turn around. Oh yeah, let's keep it. underneath your desk. There's an envelope. Turn around, the close hell? your eyes, and bend over. Ah! Use your your left okay, hand. I got it. it. There's one on the right. Beth oh. hides prizes all over this room. I know it's the best. Get. I thought she said it was behind you. She no, that's did. okay. There's there's two. Pull it off or yeah, open it. Pull it out. Okay, what did she get? Okay. See what I got. Opening the envelope. <gasps> 
It's a picture of Gary. Oh my gosh, that was the cutest prize. Gary is a baby with all that fluff. Let me see it. Beth, fuck you (laughs) for making me cry right now. Oh my. I know. When Gary, when dogs are babies, don't you wish they could stay like that for at least a couple months? Yes, and no. (laughs) Well, Gary basically is a baby. He'll never grow up. Yeah, but like a little fluff ball. All dogs, when they're just newborns, are fucking adorable. Oh my gosh. Okay. Let's do a couple more. Okay. <coughs> My turn. Here we go. Molly. A Wikipedia. I'm skipping. Here we go. You motherfucker. I did Wikipedia again. Here we go. Rock and roll blue. Rock and roll. Rock and roll blue. I think this is question nine. Um, okay. Tough one. Which band got its name by taking the first letter of each band member's name? We've already done this one a couple. Oh, I don't remember that. <sighs> ABBA. Yeah. Oh, maybe you we guys did. Are getting smarter. Mm-hmm. I feel like. Can we answer another question from that category? Yeah, just go to the next one. I do not know how that stuck in my brain. Which member of the Beatles crossed Abbey Road barefoot? Hmm. Didn't all of them? Only one. Elton John. John Lennon. I'm in fucking John Lennon. Elton John. <laughs> It's hey? another really famous one. Oh. The other one. Um no. Ringo Starr. No, the other one. The other one. There's John Lennon, the Ringo one. Starr. Hold on. John Lennon. Paul McCartney. Paul McCartney, I thought he was in sync. Huh? That's Justin Timberlake. <clears throat> That's Holy Chris Kirkpatrick. Shit, dude. <laughs> Chris Kirkpatrick. Chris Kirkpatrick. <laughs> Christopher Kirkpatrick, you can get your ass kicked. If you're getting Chris Kirkpatrick and and <laughs> Paul, Paul McCartney, McCartney. Mix, <laughs> mixed up, you... I don't know what they look like. I'm just saying the names. Isn't Paul McCartney like NSYNC or Backstreet Boys? <laughs> <laughs> no. Huh? Yeah, we need to listen to more of the Beatles, I feel. You know what? I'm going to piss some people off right now. Yeah. They, in terms of classic bands, classic rock, they are far down on my list. Mm -hmm. I don't hate them, but I I don't think I've ever in my life thought, hmm, I'm feeling the Beatles, and I'll turn them on. Same. Now, now if if something's on, I'll listen to it and I'll enjoy it, but I I don't. Search. I'm, I'm not a huge Beatles fan. And I feel like so many people are. Oh, they're like probably the biggest band in the world. I mean, probably. And what, they didn't even, where did they start? Australia or something? <laughs> Chelsea. <laughs> the bi- the British invasion, right? The British inv- invasion, oh. right? Oh, That's not from Australia, Australia, right? Kind of got the same accent. Oh, Lord. Well, I, I knew they didn't start in America, which is weird because they're, like, huge here. Oh, they're they're worldwide, baby. That's the level we got to be at. What other bands are huge that started somewhere else in Led Zeppelin. Um, what are Fleetwood big, Mac? What are the biggest bands that started here, in America? Um, the Eagles. Okay. Um. Uh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Eddie Money. <laughs> Eddie Money. <laughs> I'm just asking because damn, my guys, Detroit, I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Eddie Money. Motley yeah. Crue. Yeah, Motley Crue. I mean. Motley Crue got that Motley. Yeah. They got that Motley. Right. Got that. You hit it. <laughs> Last one. Here Motley we go. Crue fans should be called the Motley. <laughs> Animals, purple. Purple, number 10. Oh, I love this one. Despite its name, the world's largest living lizard can't fly or breathe fire. However, it does have a venomous bite. What is it? Ooh, I fucking know. Mm-hmm. Y'all know. Oh, hold on. It's the, um, it's the, um, oh, it's not the iguana. Something dragon. It, yeah, uh, uh, you wear them. A fucking something. Something dragon. What is it? Uh, give us another hint. Don't. Don't. <laughs> it's it's like the beach cover up that you wear. Motherfucker. A kimono. Oh. Kimono, kimono dragon. dragon. <laughs> you got it. Silk robes and kimonos. You got Silk it. Robes and kimonos. Okay, so last episode was it last episode? Oh yeah, last episode. 
um, we tried to do a segment and play a new segment song, but all our uh, we had um, uh, technical difficulties, so we didn't get to play a new segment song. So Maggie, I think it's time that we not only do one of our new segments, but hit that beat, baby. Hello, and welcome to the Moo Moo commercials. Whether you need to de-stress or keep your sleep schedule on track, CBD can help, you guys. But don't settle for just any CBD product, okay? Don't do it. A recent study showed that most CBD labels are way off. And honestly, that's ridiculous, okay? Some products only contain 60% of what they claim. Hell no! Melatonin products can also be very inaccurate. Next Evo tests their products multiple times to ensure you get 100% of what's on the label. And that's pretty cool when you can read the label and actually know the product and what's in it. I mean, that's rare. Hey, upgrade your sleep, okay, and lower your stress the all-natural way. Next Evo Sleep Support Complex combines premium CBD with melatonin so you can wake up refreshed and keep your sleep schedule on track even during those first few chaotic weeks of fall. Get more Z's and more Zen in your life. Upgrade to better natural solutions from Next Evo Naturals. Go to nextevo.com and use promo code VIRAL to get 25% off. That's 25% off at N-E-X-T-E-V-O dot com. Promo code VIRAL. Here we go. Yes, the sound. Yes, the sound. Huh? Yes, the sound. Ma'am. Yes, the sound. Wow. And Paige made that. Paige, it's brilliant. Ma'am. Ma'am. Can That's we hear, Roger. Can we hear it? Here, here's the deal. Me and Paige go around and we record a sound and we have to guess what the sound is. And that's the that's the gist of the game. Game. So hit that beat one more time. Yes, the sound. Yes, the sound. Huh? Yes, the sound. Ma'am. Yes, the sound. That, like the may, rain. that may be one of my favorites. Oh, <laughs> that wasn't rain. That was um, the waterfall. The waterfall. Oh, yeah. The waterfall. Okay. Am I going first? To yeah. you? Yeah, you go. Oh, God. Am I ready? <laughs> this is so exciting. Okay. This is exciting. Why? Guess this sound, baby. Here we go. Ooh. Huh? Do it again. Is this all one motion? Uh-huh. Okay. Is that... We'll do it once more. Something dragging and shedding it sounds like dragging. <coughs> Is it like a a window shutting or what? Hold on, do it again. The fuck? You wanna take a guess? I hear some dragon. Dragging these nuts. Dragging these nuts across your face. I hear some birds at the end. One more time. One more time. Here we go. Shh. Anybody want to okay, take it? Okay, I'm just going to say, the door? yeah, it sounds like you're, or like <clears throat> dragging a rug or something. Okay. I don't know. Sh- but then the clink at the end. Mm, closing the door. Okay. Anybody else? You know, like trash can. Closing the trash can. Okay. Maggie, you thought I would say shut closing the window or shutting the door. Mm-hmm. Y'all are pretty close. I am <clears throat> opening a window. Oh. The birds. Okay. Hence why you can hear nature the, at the end. Yeah. Oh, okay. I was thinking either one or the other, but I thought when it shut I stopped hearing it. Like a okay. like a chode. Okay. 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 Ready for the next one? Oh yeah. That was a good one. Here we go. Next one. I've guessed this sound. Damn. Oh. Is that Gary scratching? No. <laughs> okay, play it again. Cutting mm. something? More like 
Dragon. What is that? Like? I'll play it one more time. And I'll say is yeah. this like a thing we all do or see or around? Uh, it or is. Or is this something random? No, it's very common. Is it cooking? No. Okay, then let's Not. hear it again. Ooh, the, I like that noise. Oh. One more time. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Maggie, you know what it is? Y'all are Maggie Beth guessed. Right, any guesses? Pepper shaker. No. Pepper. No. It does kind of sound like a crack, no. crack in it. Uh, crack. All right, everybody, um, give up. One more time. Yeah, I nothing. do. I do need one more. Here we go. Damn, I don't know. I I don't know. I thought y'all would guess this, these right away. Mm-mm. It's just. A, a vitamin pill bottle, and I'm just doing this. Oh, shaking it? Yeah. Well, yeah, I guess it's the way things are, like, shaking. Like, if you probably would have went, yeah. maybe. <clears throat> I just moved it twice. I just didn't like this. Okay, <clears throat> that was what was getting me. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Oh, that was a good one, though. Thank you. Guess this sound. Ma'am. Ma'am. Here okay, we go. Here's <clears throat> my my first sound. Oh boy! Oh boy! Here we go with the doo doo doos. Do do do. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay. At first, I thought it was like spaghetti dropping, but then I heard crackling of the plastic. <clears throat> so that threw me off. Like hard spaghetti noodles, like you know, being dropped. But this is all one motion with one item. Do you Ooh, want me to play it again? Yeah. It's Velcro of some sort. Velcro. Huh. Okay. Hmm, that's a hard one. Any guesses? Cutting lettuce? Ripping lettuce apart? No, no food. No food? No food. Play huh. it one more time, and I'm going to take a guess. Okay, here we go. Unboxing something? No. Not unboxing anything. Is tape involved? No tape. I'm going to say you're, it's Velcro of some sort. You're unhooking something. Do you want me to give you guys a hint? Yeah. It's something I use a lot, and especially a lot right now. Oh, a pad. You're opening a pad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Opening up a pad. That was good. Now you're... Okay. Now that you know. Yeah. Yep. Smart. It was the ripping sound and the plastic. It, it was that's throwing. what got it wasn't one sound, right. it was a bunch of sounds. Yeah. 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 Okay. That was good. And she then, asked me to put her pad on her panties last night and I, I didn't know where to put it really, like where it goes. Yeah. Huh. Because like the wings. Yeah. where'd you put it? I just handed it to her. Okay. Ready to go. Because yeah. sometimes if I don't get the pad with the underwear as soon as I get out of the shower. Yeah. yeah. Drip, drip, drip. Yeah. So, Ooh. yeah. Okay, here's my second sound. Here we go. Okay, do it again. Okay, I'm going to narrow it down. I know you're in your car because I hear the rain. Ready? Mm-hmm. You are, it's either, is it glove block box related or, or sunshade related? Sunshade. It's wow. the sunshade. Oh, yeah. I can hear the rain. I can't even hear I can hear the rain. Low I, tones. Yeah, I was like, the fucking rain, dude, because I wanted, mm. I filmed it with my little mini mic. Yeah. I'm like, the rain's going to throw it off, but yeah. And you do that a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! 
Ooh. No, us. That was fun. There's All always right. an aggressive sunshade closer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, that was fun. I love Guess the Sound. Dude, I, guess- I think you've guessed every single thing right today. Besides the pad. Yeah. Well, you know, some, well, day, some days you just have great days. Mm-hmm. You do. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and announce, uh, before we get started, Rock Fucker of the Week. Let's go. Bow, bow, bow. Rock Fucker of the Week is Casey Kennedy. Casey. <laughs> Thank you for interacting with us on social media. If you interact with any of the Valra Podcast pages, whether you comment, share, like, I mean, could be anything. Uh, we pick someone at random to give away free Valra Podcast merch to. Um, so you have one honeys, congratulations. And you can also go to viralpodcast.co to get your viral podcast merch. Mm-hmm. All right. And um, thank you for clicking and Oh, thank you for clicking and supporting us big time and helping us take over the world. Well yeah, most importantly. Most importantly. And um if you guys have not got your tickets for tour yet, go to eatmytrash.com and get your tickets. I'm going all over my first shows ever in Canada. I have a show in Canada. Um, go to eatmytrash.com and get your tickets and I'll be all over. So just go and look at, look at tour dates. Do you know what month you'll be in Canada? Yes. We start in, um, like here in the next, let's see, what month is this? Um, September. September. Next month, October. Damn. So you'll be in Canada in October. Yeah. We go to, we go on tour in like two weeks, two, three weeks. (laughs) That weather Canada's yeah. cold. I'm excited. Ooh. I'm excited. We'll have a couple of days extra, and I, I just, you know, yeah. Comment what I should do in, you know, um, where are we going, Beth? Toronto. 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 Yes. Ooh, Toronto. Six. I heard Toronto's awesome. So I've never October twelfth. October twelfth. Yeah. So um, get your tickets. I'll be doing my first stand up show in Toronto. We're also hitting up Buffalo, New York. Uh, I think we have a Rhode Island show. I don't, I've, I've listed them in a couple podcasts mm-hmm. ago, but but definitely go to um, eatmytrash.com to see uh, tour dates. And to see if she's in a city near you. Right. Right. Okay, baby. <clears throat> Malt leaky. I'm ready to open a can of beans and Maggie. Ooh, you can smell them. roll that beautiful bean footage. Here we go. So me and my fiance watched every podcast that you guys made so we thought it'd be funny to give you guys a call and talk about uh guy moaning so okay uh 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 you fucking slut oh oh yeah (laughs) and then he laughs that was pretty good I that couldn't I don't know if you're too close to my ear I I don't know. No, the first moan he did actually turned me on just now. It wasn't a bad moan. No. No, and I he got a little fr- like he more got... of a deeper like oh. That's kind of what he did. The first moan that's what it was. I and mean, then he got a little fun and went a little wild. Mm-hmm. But in a a man moan, that was it. That was pretty good. Yeah. Ooh, girl, I kind of want to hear him again. Let's just play it again. Play it again. Oh. Here we go. So me and my fiance have watched every podcast that you guys made. So we thought it'd be funny to give you guys a call and talk about uh, God moaning. So. Uh. 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 Mm. uh you fucking slut. Oh. <laughs> Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah, that's he did the, good. The, the first one. Yeah, 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 yeah. He did really good. And mm-hmm. thank you yeah, guys for like watching the podcast every time we put one out. We really appreciate that. Yes. As a couple too. That's cute. Yeah. And keep the moans coming. I love them. Mm-hmm. Okay? We should call them like the the Monies. The Mona Lucas, the uh-huh. Mona Lisas, the Mona Lucas. Something like that. Switch them up. Mona, the Mona Leakies or something. The Mona Leakies. <laughs> Mona Leakies. <laughs> something. Yeah. Thank you for calling in, honeys. Appreciate you. Hi, honeys. Just wondering how you feel about being Eskimo sisters with your actual sisters. Mm-hmm. Recently, my sisters <clears throat> got into a fist fight. We're both arrested. And 
now one lives with the other one's boyfriend and they kicked out the first sister. And so, yeah, they're, uh, they're, they're swapping partners and getting their fist fights over it. How do you guys feel about that? Let me know. <laughs> oh, yeah. Damn, how do you feel about that? So Eskimo sisters is when you're with the same guy, right? Whether it's kissing, fucking, dating, right? Isn't yeah. that what that is? Yes. Yeah. So. Can we yeah. look that up, Brad? No, that's true. Uh, that, that. That's what it is. Yeah. Um, first off, I could never even want to be with someone that my sisters are with or have been with. Mm-mm. No. Even if that person is good looking, Mm-mm. it's a it's a it's a second hand it's a, swappy. Yeah, it's a thing in your brain that you shut off immediately that shouldn't even be turned on as an option. No, you Mm-mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you don't want his cream <clears throat> and you and her and your sister. No, we don't want to be cream twins. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And then fighting over it. I'm confused. So fighting. wait, when your Eskimo sisters are <clears throat> they both so there's two men involved in this, right? No, one guy. One guy who's dated both sisters and they're getting okay. in fights about it. So yeah. this He's is my first time of hearing of an Eskimo sister. They've been arrested. There ain't no man I'm willing to get arrested over. Fighting your sister. And usually that's a problem too when the when two girls are fighting over a guy because <clears throat> it's probably, you know, the guy's fault. <laughs> yeah. So that's Dude. not really a problem. No. I... No, I don't even want to, I couldn't, I couldn't do that. Now, gr- growing up, you saw that a lot. I at least saw it a lot growing up. Just switching, whatever. Like my mom and my aunt mm-hmm. were, were, a lot of were people, cream though. sisters. Yeah. They were cream sisters. Cream puffs. And they got into it and it like, it, they didn't talk for years because of it. I but my mom, but my, <laughs> so it's a, so but it wasn't like her ex. Like my mom fucked my aunt's long term boyfriend while they were together. While my mom what? needed a place to stay and was staying at their house. Damn. Yeah. Extra shady. Yeah. So that's not so good. So we got some experience. With so that. we got some experience with that. And she pretty much was gone one day and my aunt was like, Well, yeah, I kicked her out. She fucked you know, She told you guys? Yeah, and we were like Punk. And we were little kids. She's like, she, she, I was, punk, she fucked our Uncle Tim. She I think I, I was about 13 or 14. Yeah. So young, you know. Like tw- 11, 12. And I'm just like, huh? <laughs> to just tell you that, and then you yeah. got to go sit there at school just thinking, oh my God, yeah. what just went on at home? Yeah. We, I don't think we really cared too much about it because it was just like another day. It just breezed We were just you. like, eh. Yeah. She's gone again. Yeah. That's so sad. And it was always something, you know. We're like, okay, <clears throat> yeah. That was light work for fucking your uncle. But I've never, I, I don't, I could never do it. I don't understand people, the, the, the want there. But also, she stayed with the, the her husband. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Are they still together? Uh huh. But they were together like ten years after that. Yeah. Something crazy. They had a kid together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But this girl's sisters are. Can you imagine, like, me and, and Maggie. Maggie and Beth get arrested for fighting? Like, I'd be like, y'all are. You guys are. You guys are all fighting over Greg. <laughs> and some. And then two of them are in jail, and the other one's at home still doing the fucking. That's a lot of drama. So it's just sister wives. I mean, yeah, but with, with fighting involved. A yeah, lot of people I guess that's, are yeah. like that. Maggie, it's so crazy. I guess in a small town, like, a lot of people, like, even probably me included, we all just dated, like, you know. because well, there's no one school. else to fuck. Yeah, I mean, when you don't have any any options. Right. <laughs> you gotta fuck something. And, <laughs> but, <laughs> but we were all swapping from town to town, you know. Right. Oh, my gosh damn eskimo sisters no ma'am i couldn't even stay in a small town what's that noise i know i'm wondering what that noise is too yeah i it's guess brett. i gotta start typing on my phone just a little oh touches. that was you brett yeah yeah be just be careful yeah that yeah. was brett typing on his computer do it yes. again do it again make sure that's what we heard yeah what 
That is so weird. The microphone's really picking that up. Why when Maggie types, it's not like that? I haven't typed. Well, oh. first off, what you typing? Oh, I was looking up a uh, better word for Eskimo, because uh, you're not supposed to say that anymore, I guess. Oh, yeah, yeah. that's I heard that's a thing. Like Inuit. Yeah. What? I, I, I did hear that. Inuit should be um, done. That sounds... I don't, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Inuit. Never heard it. I know. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't sound good though. That's well, crazy. Eskimo Joe's needs to needs to change. Their what are they gonna do? <laughs> y'all never that was y'all never heard of that. That was big in Oklahoma. Eskimo Joe's. A gas station or what? Was it a restaurant bar? It was like a burger shop. But like everyone in the state had an Eskimo Joe's T-shirt. Mm -hmm. It was like what? you weren't cool unless you had an Eskimo Joe's T-shirt. Oh, what yeah. color? Do you know they the came, look of it? They came in everything. So yeah. kind of like a smaller Bucky's. Yeah. Kind of. <clears throat> yeah. Like, it's kind of like Joe's Crab Shack. Yeah. You know, everybody had on the mm -hmm. Crab Shack shirts. Mm. What's the food? I've never been. I haven't either. I think it was like a burger shop. I oh, could yeah, be you wrong. Said I could be wrong, but I don't know. Let me look it up here. Look it up. Let me look it up. I here. guess if we hear Brett's fingers ever going over there, we know he's looking up something. That's true. Mm. It was in, <laughs> yeah, what you typing? Stillwater. What you typing? Eskimo Joe's. I remember that. It's in Stillwater, right? Let's see here. Eskimo Joe's still it's in Stillwater. It's a restaurant, sports bar with a jukebox, pool tables, live music, and rooftops. Let me see their menu here. Jukebox? I love. They're getting a free shout out right now. There we go. Eskimo Joe's. It has like a yep. This was a big thing, and I've never even been. Even if you've never been, you get if someone goes that you know, they better get twenty shirts for to give everybody they know. Bar menu. Let's see. Dining. It's that menu. type of place. It's okay. like a famous yeah. Okay. We yeah, should we, just take a trip. Should they have famous cheese fries? Ooh, I love. Even Watch though I don't the like food cheese, be gross. chili cheese fries, bacon cheese fries, sweet peppered bacon cheese fries, double cheese fr double cheese cheese fries. Hmm. Then they have salads. Then they have chicken, chicken sandwich, chicken breast sandwich, burgers, um, and then they have kids menu. So yeah, that's and they have chili. Any malts? Let's see here. Let's see if they got malts. They I have, can't even say that word. They have float sundaes, chocolate cake, cheesecake, old-fashioned milkshakes. No malts. What's, not going. what's the difference between an old-fashioned milkshake or just a regular one? Is it like double blended? I think an old-fashioned is like scooped out with like, you scoop that you scoop it out, um, you add the milk and everything. I think a regular milkshake, they use like salt. It's like from a machine. That's mm. what I think. You probably know. You know what I mean? That's what I think, at least. So, yeah. So <laughs> anyway, that's um, a good thing to know. All right, next call, baby. Let's do it. Are you horny, baby? Maybe. Well, I have something to tell you. What? AdamandEve.com has clit suckers, vibrators, dildos, chains, whips, handcuffs, anal beads, liquids, lube. Things to just really get your heart pumping and you thumping. Ooh, yes. Now you're speaking my language. Just enter offer code VIRAL at checkout. That's VIRAL. V-I-R-A-L. What will, what will happen? Well, you don't even want to know what's going to happen to you. Tell me. You're going to vibrate. Whoa. That's 50% off one item plus... Free shipping with free rush processing. Wow. Bring more pleasure and satisfaction into your bedroom. Mmm, I love pleasure. And don't you just want to fill your holes mm -hmm. with wholesomeness? I sure do. Well, that's great. Just enter offer code VIRAL at checkout. That's VIRAL. V-I-R-A-L at adamandeve.com this is exclusive offer specific to this podcast so be sure to use code viral to get your discount 100 percent free shipping and get it fast with rush processing code viral oh, oh yeah. yeah hey honeys i've already called in once but i didn't like my intro so i'm doing it again um I just got done listening to your latest episode and where that girl put her husband or her boyfriend on the phone to do the moan. I immediately thought we should have a moan 
off, but Paige thought of it by the time the podcast was over. So uh, I'm a straight white male, and I'm in the Army. So a voice like this you probably wouldn't expect, but for some reason I've always been good at this exaggerated female moan. So here's my mission. There's my submission. Let's see if anybody can beat it. Wow. I don't think... Can I get a... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. He was great. That guy has fucked a lot of chicks who have done that. He could get got a lot of people. Oh, yeah. He should start a phone sex line and then at the end be like, Gotti. (laughs) (laughs) No, dude. if If I'm fucking a chick and she does that, I'm gonna get the ick so bad. I'm gonna be like, we're good. I'll go jack off. <laughs> You're faking. I don't. Yeah. That, the, oh yeah. It's just so fake. But he did it good. That was impressive. That was impressive. Here's the thing. I want you guys to call in with your with your best fake high pitched girly moan, and I want some real men moans. Yeah, we want we want both. Maybe we could have this competition, but like have like the best. Girl moan. The girl and guys can just be in the same because that's too many competitions. So, guy moan and girl yes. moan. It could even be He's a new girl a new segment to the, for the top of the party. Yeah. It could even be a new segment mm-hmm. where you play like the top oh, whatever. Yeah. We've even kind of said something about it, but I yeah, what we need to do that. Um, also, I could just compile all the male moans and just have that for me. Oh, put it just on, on re- yeah, on replay. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh. I love that shit. Mm-hmm. That's probably my favorite. I love oh. the deep ones. Mm. A male moan, God. It when they're actually on. enjoying. Mm-hmm. Oh God. When they're actually enjoying. <laughs> it. Mommy, you know when you can just tell. Yeah. They're like. Whoa. Yeah. When their eyes roll to the back of their. Uh huh. Brett. Yeah. A little toe curl. Yeah. <laughs> toe curl. <laughs> yeah. Brett, you been moaning? No, I'm more of like a mouth cover. Like and I don't really moan too much. This is what yeah. makes me mad. <laughs> when we're sorry. <laughs> I'm not being rude to Brett. Okay, but when we're having sex, he'll be like, Hold on and then he does this. <laughs> Moves his hair back, I'd be done. And he <laughs> and he calls it like the Billy Ray Cyrus That's or something. I'd be done. I'd I'm be gonna go, done. I'm gonna go Billy Ray real quick. <laughs> I But he's like shaking. Because, you know, he's, like, trying to do it with one arm and on top of me, and I'm like, damn. Hey, it is hard to uh, plank for, you know, you know I told starfish. him, I said, just leave the fucking hair down. I'd rather deal with the hair than the then whole see you stop, sh- the stop, the shakings, <laughs> the the slow, like. You gotta be in good shape to have sex, you know. Yeah. Plank. That's fucking funny, dude. Because I'm picturing it, and it would piss <laughs> me <laughs> off. It would piss me off. The shaking when he doesn't need to be. And putting the... This, Chelsea. Why not just put it up in a ponytail beforehand? Yeah. I I try to do that, too. He stopped one time and said, hold on, I gotta put my hair in a ponytail. He's inserted in me, and I said, fuck, <laughs> no. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You're fucking a guy. Mid-fuck, he says, hold on, I need to put my hair in a ponytail. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Bye. You just leave? You didn't finish? Like I would, you're not gonna, we're not going to finish anyway. Do that. We're not going to finish anyway, it's Brett. Funny. I still finish, but I said... You're the only one in the world. I told him after, don't ever do that again. Brett, now you got to admit. you got to admit, that's bad. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. That, oh, yeah. That I hate it. That can't be a turn on for her. Yeah, I hate having to think about it <laughs> before I go in, too. Before I go in? Yeah. Should I get my pony? No. The thing? Yeah. yeah. Brett... Just wear a scrunchie on your wrist at all times. That's, yeah. what I, that's what we do. He steals all my ponytails now. I I see him walking in and out of my closet, and I'm like, <laughs> hell no, dude. I try to hide them from him. Well, Brett, if you... He's like, Chelsea gave me this one. <laughs> yeah. If you have long hair now, you have to be responsible to buy your own ponytail holders. 
I'll go get my own. Because if somebody's stealing all your ponytail holders and you are left with none, that is an that is like... Yeah. And I have specific ones I like that. The mm-hmm. ones that don't rip out our hair. I know exactly what you're talking about. And I'll see them all in his head. It's the one that Chelsea gave me. <laughs> okay, you still have I've that one. i held on to it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe for Christmas, I'll get you your own pack. Thank you. And a you're, stocking. That'd be awesome. Yeah. yeah. Now, now I know what to get you. Zen yeah. and ponytails. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Okay. Noted. Chelsea, would you try a Zen? No, God, Maggie, Mm-mm. you're you do the nicotine. Yeah, but I don't want to be sucking on nothing. Tell people what like that, that is first. Zen. It's a Zen, nootropic. Yeah. It's a little nicotine pouch, kind of like chewing tobacco, but it's in a pouch, and it looks like white cocaine, but it's not. It's nicotine. and you put it in your like uh, in your and you can swallow your spit. Like you just keep the pouch. Like this. Yeah, if you're watching, you can see it, but. A little white. Uh-uh. What would you say that looks like? Just a little. You know those little packs that come in like like the. <sighs> it's power in a pouch. It's hard. It's hard to like. You know those little packs like you you open an Amazon package and it comes in. You throw oh it yeah, away. The little mm-hmm. You know those little plastic pouch. That's kind of what it is. But y- hell no. It's like the size of Trident gum. You'd never. You'd never. Nope. Never My dad t- tried it. Did he like it? Is he zen now? He, he could see. He's like, yeah, that's pretty good. And I told him to spit it out so he didn't puke. Usually the first time you do it, you'll puke. So when you when you feel good, spit it out. Zen to me is the equivalent of like, you know how like people don't want to smoke, so they vape now. It's the equivalent of dudes not wanting to dip, so they zen. Yeah, kind of. It's yeah, it's the no tobacco. Yeah, I like a lot. Yeah, but it doesn't sm- like <laughs> I can smell Copenhagen on people, but I can't smell yeah. this. Right. And sometimes co- that Copenhagen smell can get me sick. Oh, oh. Because I used to chew in high school just for fun. No, God. If people would dare me, I'd, okay. It's a good buzz. The thought of it it makes me sick. The thought of it makes me sick. No, so. All right, well. Well, thanks for calling. Thank you for calling in. Hey, and thank everyone for your calls. The calls, the moans. Can I just say, we started this podcast over a year ago. Year and a half. Year September twenty first, twenty twenty one. So it's two almost two years. Mm-hmm. Whoa. It's been almost two years and we have never declined and, and Paige and I honestly don't look at the views and downloads all the time, but we've never declined in views. We've never declined in calls. It's only gone up from here, and we truly appreciate you listening Mm -hmm. every week, even if you catch every once in a while. Whatever you do, we appreciate you because we are taking over the world with your help. All the way up. Yeah, so we appreciate you. For real, that is a really cool thing. It's very cool. People that call in and... It's scary calling in. I was even picturing myself (laughs) calling in to somewhere and being like, okay, where the fuck would I start? Like, it is a very nerve-wracking thing. All these people are going to hear you. They might make a post about you on a yeah. page and talk, you know. It, so, yeah. yeah, thank you for calling in. Yeah, we appreciate you guys. Hey, honeys. Stay at home mom here. I'm just calling to let you guys know I watch you guys on YouTube on my 75-inch TV at home. And when my husband comes home, I'm listening to you guys. <laughs> And I swear, every time he listens to you guys, he gets a freaking boner. Anyways, so I was watching an episode where you guys were talking about the worms. And um, I have a crazy story. So my cousin had a friend who met this girl. And they went back to her place. And, you know, they were getting in the mood started doing 69 the room was kind of dark um she had her blinds kind of open so like you know when a car drives by like you see the headlights flash through the window um so they're doing 69 and he has his eyes closed she's on top you know she's sucking him off you know he's eating her out and every once in a while he'll feel something wet on his forehead he didn't really think of anything of it but it kept happening 
And then that was a certain point where that car drove by. He opened his eyes and he seen a tapeworm hanging out of her ass. And it was smacking him in the forehead oh. as he, he was eating her pussy out. <laughs> well, thank you guys for listening. Thought you'd like that little story. and Oh, yeah. That was a light from God. That was... That light was needed. <laughs> no, ma'am. I want to know what happened. Did he take the worm out? Stop. And That's going? what I'm wondering. Stop do you, it. Do you, like, pinch it out? Do you... And listen, this story sounds unbelievable but this could happen oh yeah well yeah if you got worms dude i was i saw on tiktok the other day there was this compilation of like like wildlife photographers or videographers that go out yeah video oh and all these bears were walking around i couldn't even finish the video i was so disgusted all these different clips of bears walking around with three four foot tapeworms hanging out of their asses oh my just dragging just you see dragging? Yeah. yes oh i need to see oh, it the worms i guess just it's throw. bad it, 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 and i saw that the other day and i'm like so you could have a t- you looking like string cheese yes i couldn't finish the video so think i mean she could have had a she this could be absolutely true Oh, yeah. Well, what yeah. would you fucking do? I would say, ma'am, got worms? <laughs> no, I, I wouldn't would, be I mean would about say, it. I would tell her, hey, you got a little moat leaky down there. <laughs> I know. I wonder what happened. I want to know what happened. You can't, I mean, how embarrassing for her. I would oh, be, I would, I would, I would be respectful, though. I, I would tell somebody if they had a worm and didn't know, because you wouldn't send somebody back there knowing a night crawler is going to get him in the forehead. <laughs> A night crawler. Shouldn't you just yank it out for her? <laughs> you wouldn't send somebody back there knowing a night crawler's going to be bumping on their forehead. Man. You know, though? And the fact that it was just oh, dangling gosh. on his forehead. Like a damn windshield wiper. Hey, <laughs> freaking. Um, oh, God, y'all. I would sit her down. This is what I would honestly do if I was him. I would say, hey, me. <laughs> See this? What? <laughs> no, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> See my forehead? This is not sweat. Tape form. No, uh, I would tell her, though, for sure. I don't know how I would yeah. bring it up, but I would tell her. Oh, God, you, you'd be too embarrassed to. You would have to, though, because what if, I mean, you could get her, she could go get on some medicine and get rid of them. Yeah. She obviously doesn't know. And she I think them. a lot of people have them. Oh, it's, oh, very common. I probably have them and don't know. That's what I'm saying. It's everybody has parasites. Everybody has, you know, something like that. But most definitely. But God, dude. how do you know if you're not back there? Y'all got to go get that hydrotherapy. Yeah, the colon. Oh yeah, thing. I want to get that done. You have to go get that done. It's not called hydrotherapy, is it? I huh? thought you colon colon oh. hydrotherapy. Well, oh. I want to get that done. It's a col- uh, what colonoscopy. Is it? col- col- colon. Colon cleanser. Colonic. Oh, yeah, yeah, colonic. Sorry. There we go. We got it. Yeah. Yeah. Because you were saying that there's long, long, long tapeworms. Yeah, the lady last time I was there, she, I asked her, I said, have you ever seen any worms come out of anybody's ass? And she goes, oh, yeah, just a couple of days ago, there was a little boy in here, and I was sucking all the worms out. Sucking. And I was like, oh. Sucking all the worms out. It's very common. Oh, My yeah. My aunt said she got them, Aunt Chody. Mm-hmm. She got tapeworms. She said Shout out them. to Aunt Chody. She mm-hmm. listens to every podcast. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Thanks, Chocho. She got them from biting her fingernails. <gasps> oh. That's he, what the doctor told her. Dude. He's like, do you bite your fingernails? And like, she said yes, because she did. And Well, you can worms. probably get them from anything. Mm-hmm. You can probably get them from food, oh. from raw yeah. fruit, yes. from eating ass, from anything probably so common i've had some itchies back there i don't yeah. think i've ever had one come out and say hi if, if it was if the worms were singing i would oh my gosh i mean we we always worry about the shrimp singing now we gotta worry about the worm singing and coming out and saying hi and dancing for but everybody some, sometimes my asshole itches so bad i feel like they're weren't the worms are trying to come out shredding out 
Well, remember a few podcasts Ooh, when we talked about us, I saw that TikTok where the the doctor said put a clove of garlic yeah. in your ass. <laughs> I've still been wanting to try I that. No, I haven't done that That's yet. That's going to burn. I put them in my ears and it burns a little. Well, when it starts to hurt, I'll just pop it out. Just put it up in there, you yeah, think? I guess. I don't know. I know that some stuff is good for us. Some stuff is good to have in your body, but not everything can be good. So if 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 you got worms coming out and banging on some guy's forehead as y'all are sixty nine, <laughs> let's get rid of those motherfuckers. <laughs> let's get rid of those motherfuckers. Yeah, let's deworm deworm. Yeah. <laughs> Take a deworm God. pill. What are those for? Dewormers? What is that? For worms. Mm-hmm. Dogs. Dogs get worms a lot. Oh, could he just slip one of those in our <laughs> drinks? I, I got a mem- I bought a Boston Terrier one time. This was years ago. Uh-huh. The kids were babies. And I drove to Ada, Oklahoma to pick it up. Uh huh. Ada? It, it, Ada, Oklahoma. It was a baby Boston Terrier. Home and of Blake Shelton. Go ahead. I looked down, and this motherfucking dog, I had on jean shorts. No, Maggie. There were worms all over my legs. Oh, my God. Gosh. I almost wrecked the car. I couldn't stop fast enough. I was sh- wiping them off my legs. I, it could you be have a, to oh, you have to deworm dog. They usually take like a flea tick and worm pill. Yeah, like on a regular basis. This dog this, yeah. had worms for. I could not get rid of those worms. That bad though to it have was, them all. They over were your coming legs? out and they were all over my legs. You could have opened up a fucking fishing business, just <laughs> packaged up those worms. They oh. were like about that big. Just white. All right. <laughs> Don't say just white. white. All over my... There's probably a hundred of them. Is and that what color they all are? I think so. I think. White, yellowish. Tape worms. And I think it's probably just as common for humans. I don't know, man. As long as these... The Don't bar- show that to me again. <laughs> Yeah, Don't you? ever show that to me again. I've never seen a bear fucking shit string cheese that looks like. Couldn't okay. you have just yanked it out? <laughs> oh, God. Oh. You would think some other animal would come try to feed off oh! of it. Oh! No? If it's dragon? Okay. Sorry, but damn. All right. All right, let her know. Let us and know. We'll let her know first, and then... Be nice about it, though. Don't laugh and don't go tell your buddies. Don't say, God, bitch, you got a tapeworm coming at your <laughs> asshole. <laughs> don't say that. No, no. Just be, n- be like, ma'am. Be smooth about it. Be smooth like a worm. You know? Ma'am. Ma'am. Y- yeah, something's hanging out there. Ma'am, something was tickling me down there, <laughs> and it was alive. I would tell her to lay worms? down, go get a piece of toilet no! paper, and pull it out and show her. No, Maggie. Yeah. You would? I think that's what I would do. God. Okay. Be like, listen, uh, tweeze it. You need to go to the doctor. Okay, well, do they break off? This is serious <sighs> stuff, because I've never heard. Do they break off? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, well, call us. Call in if you know more. We'll <sighs> move on, because Chelsea... I'm, get, I'm getting a little sick. When you show me the picture <laughs> that I... The bear, oh, that's what got me. Sorry. I forgot. I forgot. I thought you already looked at it today. I and did. It was... I did. And it's taking two days to get it out of my head, and now it's back in. Okay. Okay. Love you. Thanks love, for calling. Love in. you, honeys. Oh, man. I have often thought about getting with both Chelsea and Paige at the same time. Hell yeah! I wonder what he thinks about. Because the first thing I think of is me smothering you. <laughs> is me smothering you with Just my pussy. Just like us all standing there naked, like, okay. <laughs> like, I know. I know. Me sucking on your tits. <laughs> <laughs> my God. And this guy's over in the corner, like, purring like a cat. Ugh. I can't even do it. Yeah. Oh, gosh, I wonder what thoughts go through his head. He'd probably be like, eat her pussy. <laughs> oh. Lick your friend's pussy. We're going to lick Paige's pussy. Oh, man. Thanks, though, for thinking of that. That's, hey, that's really sweet that you're thinking of us. Thinking of, for, of anything's just good on the brain, so. Right. Keep those thoughts, and guess what? They might come true. Hey, manifest it. You never know. So, love you. I can't believe we haven't been caught up in a three-way yet. No, we haven't. We talk about it a lot. Have we? Caught up in a three-way. I know you've <laughs> wanted to see me and Brett fuck. You're like, text me and I'm serious. That 
I will say that was a long time ago. My feelings have changed. Why did you want to <laughs> see that? I can't remember what was going on at that time. I think y'all were no, y'all were doing something. We were gonna fuck somewhere out in a trailer, and you're like, "Okay, well, when you guys fuck, call no. me, and I'm gonna sit in there." No, y'all were talking about doing something Pacific. Yeah, Pacific. and I was like, "I want to see. Let me know when you." I, I remember that. Remember there was something like yeah. that. I don't remember what they were gonna do though. Hmm. Yeah, it was something like that. And I'm like, you really want me to text you? And you're like, yes. Yeah, and you never did. I don't think it happened. Oh. But so just keep mm. your phone ready because you uh, might get it. Oh, uh, it's on. It's always on. Okay, keep the dinger on. Okay, it's always on. You do keep your sound on, on your phone when you text. Like it's. I would say it's off ninety percent of the time. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. I can hear it vibrate, so I'll know. Usually, I hear you clicking. It's like. Even if I'm, I'm cooking and it's on the on the kitchen table and it's on silent, I can hear it like vibrate and I'll just go and get, you know. Yeah, you can hear it. When I'm expecting an, an important call or something important, I'll have it on. So many elderly people don't even know that you can turn off on iPhones the little button on the left side to turn off the volume and on the volume. Well, if you're listening and you didn't know this, whether you're young or elder. That little that little thing on the side that clicks up and down, mm-hmm. little lever. If you pu- pull it back, that's silent. If you pull it up, that's on. Mm-hmm. That's needed. So, well, hey, thank you for calling in and thank you for thinking of us. Love you, honeys. Yeah. Hey, honeys, birthday girl here. I turned forty nine today and I got myself <laughs> all dolled up and went to the DMV to get my driver's license renewed. And I walked out of there with a picture for my new driver's license. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> so bad. Is it? Ooh. Okay. It's so bad. It's so bad that I spent most of the day today texting it to my friends <laughs> <laughs> so that everyone could enjoy it with me. Oh. Ooh, but it's giving me this idea, and I would like to know if you would support a mandate in this social media age where everyone complains so much about filters and edited pictures. What if everyone had to show as their profile picture on dating apps and all social media platforms, they had to use their government-issued photo identification <laughs> no <laughs> no more holding up a fishy pot no more ads no more 40 photos that you took sitting in your recliner from under your chin none, none of that it has to be your government issued identification photo on all social media and dating apps what do you think would happen? Mm. What would change in this world? Mm. I'm curious. Also, when you see a super unflattering picture of yourself, doesn't that just make your day? Is that is that not the funniest thing ever? I would send you mine if I could. <laughs> love her. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love her. Oh, her laugh was contagious. That's I nice and cute. love her. Dude, oh, I've wow. been when I just got my Tennessee license. It did I not text y'all? It was so bad. You, when you get a take a bad license picture, you text everyone and show them, and everyone's usually responds like, "Damn, damn." I thought you did it as a joke. I didn't see it did on I? purpose. Did you text it to me? It's so. Let me. Can it's I see bad. it? It's the worst one I've ever seen in my life. What? And yeah. I thought you did it on purpose. I was damn. like, "Why'd you do that?" Damn. And she goes, "I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I didn't. That's my face." Honestly. I th- what I think would change though is probably a lot less catfishies, um, and a lot lot less catfishies, a lot I'll... less driving to go hook up with somebody because mm-hmm. yeah, if you see that, you're <laughs> not gonna want and it. And a lot less people just constantly worried about posting Filters. the perfect pi- dude. Mm-hmm. I try to make a conscious effort to post like bad pictures of myself. Mm-hmm. Because I don't want people to meet me in person and be like, oh, God. She, you know what I mean? Or like, just not even recognize you. And just post real pictures of yourself. I Honestly. I don't use filters or touch I was about anything. to say, 99% of the time, if you see a picture on my Instagram, 
there's not one filter on it. There's not one. Ed- I, I will take a picture and upload that. And I know several people, not in my immediate group, but I know people, mm-hmm. you know who I'm talking about, yeah. who will. A couple of us. Yeah. Who will. I'm talking edit a picture for days. Oh, dude, they'll be freaking zooming in so far into the photo and the pixels that I didn't even know that could exist. Dude, and I'll be like, why are you, ed- you're gorgeous. Why are you editing the, you know, and they're, yeah, so we know people, no, I don't, oh God, here it is. Jesus Christ. Get ready, Paige. And I, I found it, Maggie. And it is kind of sad, like, yeah, in a way that people can't just post themselves how they are because they that, don't feel good about themselves, but it's like, if they could just see what we see, you yeah, know, but know. They, some people can't, so. Well, and it, people compare themselves to people on social media, and if everyone looked mm-hmm. like shit, you wouldn't care to post a picture exactly. of yourself looking like shit. Hey, you ready for this but picture? But the standards are high. Yeah, let me look at Chelsea's government ID. Holy <laughs> fuck! Yep. Doesn't it look like she Why did it on purpose? Let's see. I'm sorry, but you look like you're trying to enter a scary movie. Why are you doing that with your face? I don't know what I'm doing. I was just smiling. No, <laughs> no you weren't. I think they must have had the camera like up high. <laughs> I don't know. That's not your smile. No. They, I, they, I, I don't know, you guys. Oh, it looks horrible. I had just woken up. You look happy. I woke up early. I look... You and don't I, ever smile like that. And here's no. the thing. I know I'm large. I look so bloated in this picture. It's a different type of bloat. It doesn't even look <laughs> like you. <laughs> Let me see. It's you like that swole. Like from a high it's it's like the throat stuff. bloat. I'll have to post this picture. Yeah, you have to. to the, oh, I'll, I do. I'll we po- should all post our ID. Okay. Um, I'll have to post it to the uh, Viral Podcast Instagram, so make sure and go uh, check that out. My picture is still from 2008. I've oh. never, I haven't updated it. Because I've just been getting it online. Oh, nice. So I need to update it. Do you have a Tennessee one? No, I still have Oklahoma driver's license. I never even got a California. Maggie's got to get a new one. I know. Chelsea, it's not that you look bad. It's just, that's not you. <laughs> it's not. It doesn't look like mm-hmm. her. She showed me that and I was like, what the fuck were you doing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why do you look like that? It's bad. And maybe the black hoodie kind of. I am wearing a Didn't black hoodie. Help. Yeah. Hair up, black hoodie. I'm, you can tell I'm still like half awake. I can't even remember my ID, what it looks like. Oh, so Do they're... you still have Utah? No, I have California. But I think I'm getting up there and need to change it. Yeah, I'm all changey. I got two more years till it expires. Really? So I may wait. <laughs> yeah. Just because. Yeah. Why? He's yeah. right. He's right. But yeah, that's um, <clears throat> that's a legit question. And with the way social media is, God, that may happen in our lifetime. <laughs> you never know. I was thinking that's probably their huh. goal. Because <laughs> from from when from when I first started social media ten years ago to now, night and day. So you never know what they're gonna do. So yeah, it probably will be. That's uh, what I'm saying. Yeah, a requirement, mandatory thing, some Black Mirror episode type shit. That's what I'm saying. So yeah. just uh, keep an eye out. Yep. And. Uh, mm-hmm. But thank you for calling in. I loved her laugh. What do you guys think would change? Less surprises. Less surprises. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. More strict. I mean, yeah. you literally yeah. won't be able to post anything eventually. I think just less perfection. If everyone's posting shit like that, nobody's going to be comparing themselves to the per. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. So. Not caring about zits and this and that. That'd right. be actually a really cool day. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, thank you. Thank you for calling in, honey. Love you. This love is the you. last call. <gasps> That's cool. Wow. Thirsty. Our next partner has a product I literally use just about every day. I started taking AG1 because, honestly, I was sick and tired of, of having to deal with a bottle here, a bottle there, a bottle of this, a bottle of that, and having to take a big bag full of all my vitamins, honestly, got on my nerves. Boom. Everything in one, baby. I don't I don't take a big bag full of a bunch of vitamins anymore. I just have one thing. Athletic greens, baby. Malt licky. So 
What is this stuff, you may be asking? With one delicious scoop of AG1, you're absorbing 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, whole food sourced ingredients, probiotics to help you start your day right. This special blend of ingredients supports your gut health, your nervous system, your immune system, your energy, recovery, focus, and aging. You guys, everything all in one, baby. Athletic Greens has over 7,000 five-star reviews. It costs you less than $3 a day. You're investing in your health and it's cheaper than your cold brew habit. It's lifestyle friendly, okay, whether you eat keto, paleo, vegan, dairy-free, or gluten-free. It also contains less than one gram of sugar. No GMOs, no nasty chemicals, or artificial anything, while still tasting good. Your subscription comes with a one-year supply of vitamin D, which is so important to add to these winter months when you don't get as much sunlight. Right now... It's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition. It's just one scoop in a cup of water every day. That's it. No need for a million different pills and supplements to look out for your health. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with your first purchase. All you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash viral. Again, that is athleticgreens.com slash viral to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. Hey honey, Heather calling from Oklahoma here. I was just calling because I am listening to episode 49 right now. And um, you guys were talking about your five-year-long five project that you guys have been working on that isn't going to be aired. And I just wanted to tell you guys that I've been following you guys for a while now for what seems like forever. But I just, when I found out about the podcast, I had to start from the very beginning and then work my way down. But I just wanted to say that I'm so fucking proud of you guys. You guys are, are so amazing. And you've created such um, a safe space, a non-judgment zone for people. Um, where they don't feel so alone and you guys have just made it seem even more okay for people to realize that it's okay to be themselves and not be so critical on themselves and harsh on themselves. And I just wanted to tell you guys that and just let you guys know that I'm so excited to see what you guys do in the future and um, that I'm proud of you guys. And thank you for making this podcast so amazing and, and making it something that people can come to, to, you know, relieve stress or vent or, you know, they say that laughter is the best medicine and I truly believe that. And we all are going through life and it's hard and we all have our ups and downs and you guys just kind of, you make it this place where people can come and just have a break from that. And so I just wanted to say thank you. Love you, honey. Bye. That was very sweet. Thank you. Love you, honeys. Thank you so much for that. I, you know, I... I needed to hear that for sure. You know, I appreciate that. You know, we we work we all work hard. We work hard on this podcast and you know, sometimes you'll see some comments and you know, especially me, I you know, I, you can get discouraged and so that's just nice to hear. It makes you, you know, I'm glad that people are enjoying it. Me too, and it it is so true, you know. Just so many people have came together and have felt less lonely or we say it all the time, even met other people from the pod, just encourage each other to do good and yeah, just be kind. Yeah, and do better. And do better. You know? And Yeah, that was sweet to oh. hear that from you. Day made, honeys. That, that was very cute. Thank, thank you, you so thank much. Thank you so much. Ooh, and laughter is good medicine. I mean, that <laughs> the caller a couple minutes ago. She b- she boosted my what's it called? <laughs> your adren uh, your adrenaline my endorphins, your, endorphins oh, yeah. from her la- I mean yeah for sure. Yeah, so. laughter is medicine, dude. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Some people even like fake uh laugh and smile just to seriously get that. You know that's what I'm saying. Like even if you yeah it can you change your mind you you get those certain endorphins running you get that certain energy going through and it can it can change everything 
can change the way you see about yourself. We've talked about the confidence thing. Absolutely. Dopamines. Dopamines. Yeah. Absolutely. And um, damn, just appreciate yeah. all you guys for listening. Appreciate you and love you. And don't forget that we have the viralpodcast.co and monthly merch drops. We try to come up with like different designs each month. So mm-hmm. if you have ideas, then you can leave them anywhere you want. Any yep. platform, comment. Yep. And then and happy birthday, honeys! Oh, thank you, and happy birthday to one of the callers. The caller, yeah, yeah the yeah, yeah, yep, forty nine. Yeah, yeah, the girl that was laughing. Mm. Happy birthday! Yeah, honeys. Happy <laughs> forgot birthday. forgot Sweets. to tell her that. Happy birthday! Thank you, guys. Brett, what did you get me? Oh, the hot springs. I'm gonna oh, check you're that going on a trip yeah. to the hot, spring, hot springs. Go to Arkansas. Maybe a little mountain valley. Can I go? Yeah. 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 We can all go. Yeah. Absolutely. You sure? Be wonderful. Good time. Thank you. Like like my Palm Springs birthday, us three in a hotel room. Yeah. yeah. Shots. Okay. Oh yeah, we took shots. Why did we do that? We're Y'all s- made me. I did the instructional. <laughs> Y'all remember? made me. Brett made me. I have it all on video. <laughs> of me saying I don't want to take shots. Oh come on, you just want to try. You just want to try. I am an, dude. I'm an instigator. Sorry. Okay, yeah. well, and all you uh, Mona Lucas or Mona Leakies out there, call in and give us those deep grunts and make us wet, please. Give us a good moan. And our number is 442-777-3331. And always remember that you are doing great. You are looking good. And fuck what everybody else thinks. Get ready.